this dude bought me these shoes. But I told him I only wanted the shoes if they came with the matching purse. And so you hear that, right? She said she was talking to a guy and he said she he was going to buy her shoes. And she said, well, I only want the shoes if you're going to buy the bag to go with it. Why? Because to her, getting a pair of shoes for her is the bare minimum. Oh, but it gets better, people. All he bought were the shoes. So am I wrong for returning these shoes and just getting my money, money back? So all he bought was the shoes. So she's wondering, am I the a-hole for turning this guy down now because he just bought me the shoes? And now, because I'm telling you, my money back since they're my shoes, right? So now she's saying, should I trade in the shoes? Because technically he bought me the shoes. Therefore, you know, it's my thing to return to get the money for, right? Like, so she was really in this whole time for the money. But wait, it gets better, people. Yeah, I thought I was playing about them shoes. They fucking gone. Just like the. So I don't know if you can see the bag. The, the, the shoes that, that he bought her were from Dior, which if you don't know is a guy, is a very expensive brand. Like they got nothing going for them under $300 easily, right? So those shoes cost a minimum of 300, but wait. So that right there, because I paused it earlier before I watched the stream. So look at that, one, two, three, that is $400 and some change. So she effectively told this guy that I need I need in order for, if you want to buy me some shoes, I need the shoes and I need the bag. And if you just get me the shoes and not the bag, that is the bare minimum. I am not accepting of you as a potential dating partner. But you know what? I will take the shoes and I will trade them in. And this is, again, an example of when women talk about needing the bare minimum. There are some women out there whose bare minimums are actually pretty darn unreasonable. Like she couldn't even be happy with this guy just volunteering the shoes. She couldn't just be like, the shoes, first of all, you can go to pants and get some shoes like that. I don't need these, these $40 shoes, but you know what? If you wanna give me those shoes, I'll be oh so appreciative. No, what happened? He went to her, hey man, I wanna get you some shoes because I just think you're so pretty. Ugh. Ugh. Bare minimum over here. I mean, can you at least get the purse to go with it? I mean, I can only afford the shoes. Ah. Brokey, you know what? You're not good enough for me, but thanks for the shoes. Ha ha ha. And that's why I say, guys, like in terms of bare minimum stuff, really start looking at, you know, women are going to occasionally clown you for thinking, for saying, uh, for, for, you know, doing what they perceive to be the bare minimum. Oh, you just asked me on dates. Oh, you just paid for a $50 dinner. Oh, you just do X, Y, and Z. You cannot let these women trick you and clown you into thinking that what you're bringing to the table is not good enough. In the early part of dating, and even if even this girl was in a relationship, her expecting $400 shoes and a purse, and if not getting it, then like, oh, my boyfriend just gave me the bare minimum. I remember one time, years ago, I was dating this woman, and we have been dating for like a few months, right? So I, I had, we were boyfriend and girlfriend. I took her on a trip to a ski lodge. I like, it was a, not a ski lodge, it was, it, was, it, was, it was summertime. So I took her on a trip to like, uh, to Palm Springs, and I found a really great hotel. I found uh, a restaurant. That was at the top of this thing where you had to uh, catch a ski lift to go to the very top of the hill to then get dinner. Now, the dinner, to be fair, it was like buffet style, but like the whole experience of like the ride up to the place and like being able to eat and, and you like get to like oversee all the mountains stuff was really pretty, right? All this stuff. So then we go to a gift shop. And in the gift shop, um, she came up to me with this, with this back scratcher in her hand, right? And so the back scratcher, it was like, a dollar thirty nine, like it was, it was nothing, right? And so I looked at it. And I thought to myself, okay, yes, that is a nothing item. It's a dollar thirty nine, but I done paid for the gas to get here. I done paid for the hotel for us to stay for two or three days. I've already paid. I've already anticipated paid for the dinner that we just had, as well as the thing we're doing tomorrow morning for breakfast and whatever. I think I spent enough money to where if she wants this gift, she she could be able to afford a dollar thirty nine gift. And so I said, you know what, that's, that's great. You know, I'm not going to get that, but you go ahead and, you know, if you want to get it, go ahead and get it for yourself. And this woman literally turned around in the store and said, boo. I wish I could say that I stopped dating her at that point, but we went on a date for quite some time. But at the time, I do remember thinking like, this chick is really booing me. Like I've done done all this stuff. That, I think I talked to her, I said, I've done done all this stuff for you this weekend and you're going to boo me about a dollar thirty nine back scratch. Like, like who does that? Like who's not that appreciative? So long story short, that didn't work out. But if I say guys like, yeah, like don't let these women convince you that your effort is not great. If you know that you know that you know that you're putting in the best effort you possibly can based on where you're at in life right now, then find a woman that's going to be accepting of that. And also guys, there are plenty of women out there that will accept that effort and recognize it for what it actually is.
Anyway, on to this next video. I forget what it is. Let's just bring it to the stage. And it's for decades. Oh, okay. So this is a guy that's about to say some annoying stuff and also contradict himself. Let's get into it. Taking a woman out is literally the bare minimum. So now we have guys out there that are also perpetrating. Yeah, guy, you taking her out. That's not enough. Buying her flowers is literally the bare minimum. This guy's simping. Getting her gifts is literally the bare minimum. So taking her out, texting, uh, giving her gifts, all that is basically, he's basically saying that's not enough effort, guys. You shouldn't do that. Again, how many women out there are begging pleading for their boyfriend at home to just take them out, begging for him to just get her a little trinket just to show that he cares. Like, there are women in full-on relationships that are like, I would just care for that. And this guy's saying, but but ladies, if you're dating a guy like this, that's not enough. And guys, you don't know, that's not enough. When has that ever not been enough? One thing that women have been doing that a lot of you guys don't realize is that they have been taking themselves out on dates. They've been buying themselves flowers and getting themselves the gifts and those shoes that they've always wanted and a car that they've been looking at for a while. They've already been doing that for themselves. There is nothing more that you can offer a woman than to be a man. Okay, so let's talk about that, right? So this guy just said, hey, guy, so I got news for you. You taking a woman out on a date and buying her flowers and calling her and getting her gifts. You know what? That's the bare minimum now because women can do that for themselves. And so you doing that, she's not going to appreciate that. What she wants to appreciate, though, is you being a real man. But being a real man used to mean taking her out on dates. It used to mean getting her flowers, complimenting her, getting her gifts, showing that you're being protective of her, showing that you could provide for her, which would be taking her on a date and paying for the meal. So this guy in one breath is saying, guys, all the stuff you used to do as men, don't do those things, but also still be a man. Is it any wonder that men are confused by the message of what is and is not acceptable? What is it as men that we are supposed to do today that women are going to be happy about? Now, here's the trick, guy, though. Here's, here's the trick, guy, is that women that appreciate men and like legitimately care for men will still be accepting of all the things he just mentioned as you being a man, you planning a date, you taking her out, you showing her a good time, you making her laugh, you making the moves to do things in the bedroom. Those things will still be seen by real women as you putting forth efforts as a man. What this guy's talking about, he has been brainwashed and tricked into thinking, well, because women can do that for themselves, they don't need men for that. The number of women I know that can do that for themselves, that are like, but I wish I had a man here to do those things. I have women friends I know that have taken themselves on trips across the world that are like, but I still wish a man could have done that. So even just because women can do that, doesn't mean that they're not still looking through the lens of, but a man should be here to do those things for me. Now, I'm not here saying you as a guy need to be doing that because I'm still like, I date women who, when I go on these big trips, they're paying their half, I'm paying my half. So, but the reality is that even women that can do that for themselves still want a man to do those things with and will be happy as punch if a man gave the bare minimum to pay for those things. So this guy is completely out of whack. But anyway. That is one thing that y'all men of this generation lack. Y'all lack the capabilities of being a leader. But to his point, if women are men today, aren't women in leadership positions at their job? And so that is that, that leadership at the job, by the way, does not translate to that's going to work in a relationship. But that's the point is that, you know, if we're saying women can do all these things, including they, they can pay for their own meals, they can buy their own flowers, get their own gifts, take them on their own trips, then they can also lead themselves. And that's where men get tripped up because they're like, well, if women are acting like men today, then I as a guy shouldn't, you know, make her feel like less than by trying to tell her what to do. So I'm not going to lead. I'm going to leave the decisions up to her. And then women come back and say, you're just giving the bare minimum. Why do I have to do all the things? And it's like, because when I was trying to do the bare minimum, you were saying that wasn't enough. You were saying that wasn't me being a guy. But then what am I supposed to do as a guy when you can do all that stuff? Confusing, right? Being a provider and being a man. Again, he just he just said women can provide for themselves. And then in the different breath, he's saying, oh, but you need to provide for them. Which one is it? And then... The things that he mentioned earlier that were typically ways that guys showed their guys, are those going to be accepted or are they going to be seen as bare minimum and therefore not adding points to the scoreboard? But yet y'all expect women to be submissive to you, but you don't have anything to be submissive to. 
Make it make sense. Well, what's happening is that women are doing things that men used to do and then not wanting to submit to guys that do those same things. Women are putting themselves on equal planes with guys. So, yeah, oh, a guy can take me out, but I can take myself out. Oh, a guy's going to buy me drinks. I can buy my own drinks. So this doesn't allow her to give polarity to the situation whereby before be like, oh, a guy does these things and a girl does these things. Now with our world trying to be like, we're all non-binary. We can all do whatever. It makes it confusing because women that want masculine men are also trying to act like masculine men and they're not giving points to those men for doing things they can do for themselves. And therefore a guy's like, what room do I have here? And I'm out. If you actually want a woman to not be in her masculine era and be that soft feminine girl, you have to take her out of that. You got to bring her peace or else you're, she's, you're not going to get anything out of her. It's going to go nowhere. Because I'm going to tell you that if you think that a woman is going to give her all without anything in return, you're mistaken. And that's just how it is. Justin. Now, that's not the problem. Because he's saying basically like uh, if you're not giving, if you're not giving, then she's not going to give in return. The problem is guys these days are giving. And women are saying what you're giving is the bare minimum and that's not acceptable and therefore I'm out. But at no point in here does he say, well, then what things should a guy be giving? And the things he's, the small things he's saying guys should be giving are things that he said earlier are things that guys that, that, that are just the bare minimum and that women aren't accepting anymore. So he contradicted himself throughout this entire thing, which is what makes guys even more confused. So again, you can't listen to guys like this that are saying the bare minimum is whack because again, to the right woman, your bare minimum is going to be seen like the world. And you want women that are going to appreciate your bare minimum because they're the ones that are going to be truly deserving of you giving more effort in the future. You the bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high class man. You a high class man. You a high earning, high value, high class man. You a high.